Hey, I'm Matt Blashaw. Today we are talking structures. From how your home is built to the materials that keep them together. Most homes are still framed with sticks. Two by fours or two by sixes. It's a tried and true method. But that is starting to change. How often have you seen a house framed like this? Full walls, the sheathing, the insulation, all pieced together at once. At Premier Building Systems in Seattle, Washington, they custom make these prefab panels. They're called SIPs. What is a SIP? SIP stands for Structural Insulated Panel. Okay. okay. A SIP is an alternate to traditional conventional framing. And since these panels are basically wall sections, building a structure with them is a snap. So literally, a couple guys like us can, can do build this. an entire house. You bet. I mean, we put this together in a matter of minutes. It saves on time, uh, saves on uh, energy. I mean, it's green. It's definitely the next step from conventional framing. And while SIPS framing will cost you a little bit more up front, you can expect to see a return on your energy bill. From an energy efficiency standpoint, it's exceptional. And generally speaking, we find 50 to 60 percent savings on energy costs. Over the lifetime of your home, I mean, that's Payback is that's tremendous. Huge. All right, so show me how this stuff is made. Let's go show you the process. All right. This is the meat of the sandwich. This is expanded polystyrene, mm -hmm. EPS. EPS. Uh, the specific foam that we're using here has a one pound density to it. This stuff is lightweight, strong, and efficient. If you look at traditional fiberglass batting uh, that gets applied inside a wall, there's a lot of air. We eliminate all the air in the no wall. No air whatsoever. Component. And here's another advantage over traditional building methods. With SIPs, all the openings for wiring and electrical outlets are made at the factory. A hot wire makes precise cuts in the foam. It works kind of like a giant cheese wire. This gets hot. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to run it through. Here we go. Down. Okay. Oh! If that nice. performed correctly, we should be able to push that right out. Can you pull that, Matt? Ha! <laughs> Great success. With the foam cut to specifications, it's time to cover it with OSB. Now, at your local hardware store, you're going to find small pieces of OSB just like this. But here, they use enormous custom-cut pieces just like this because from top to bottom, the piece has to be continuous in order to give that home strength. All right, so this is where the meat and the bread become the sandwich. Our next step is the actual marrying of the three critical components to a SIM. That's the OSB, the EPS, and the structural laminate. They use a strong adhesive to attach the OSB to the foam. Then it all goes into the press for curing. Once the panel is complete, it's marked according to the architectural plan and cut to a custom size. You have all this high-tech equipment and using a chainsaw. Still the best methodology for these types of personalized cuts, if you will, yes. And you just look cool doing it. And we look really cool doing yeah. it. The chainsaw is used for custom pieces. But for the prefab stock panels, they use an automated CNC router. Why are we behind such thick glass here? The, the that... pieces are spinning at a high revolution out there, and we have had a very rare occasion when the actual router bit has hit something and it's exploded. Even if the router bits don't go flying, the foam bits certainly do. While the panels are lightweight, they're 40% stronger than conventional lumber. And to make sure of that, they put them to the test. First, they test the adhesive that binds the foam to the OSB. Ow. All right, so that busted right out from the foam. We know the glue worked, and that's what we want to see. Then they test the actual foam for strength. We're pulling it apart. That's what we're doing. We're All pulling right. it apart. And bam. Our sample broke at 93 pounds. Past 65 is that's, that's passing. That's like a D. It's good. Yeah. It's like a D. And we're pulling an A. Right. A minus. While SIP structures have been around for decades, they are just starting to gain momentum in the building industry. The number of homes constructed with SIP panels has doubled since the late 90s. And if the folks at Premier Building Systems have their way, that trend will continue.